Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy, The Chief, a.k.a. The Chef, a.k.a. Mr. Taco Tuesday, bringing you a brand new episode of Brawl Stars, where inside of today's video, I am super stoked to be checking out the update on my channel for the very first time. And guys, you're probably wondering where I've been the last couple of days, and I was actually out visiting family and my nephew. It's super great to visit family, but obviously it was crazy when Brawl Talk popped up. I wasn't prepared, wasn't ready to make videos, but now that I've had fun with the fam, let's hop into this new update. I'm gonna make this video fun, quick, go through everything coming out, and speaking of uncles, why don't we start with the fact that Uncle Mortis is actually a thing? That's right, Mortis is actually the uncle of the newest brawler to come out called Ems, who's a social media superstar who shoots hairspray and dominates her opponents. With Ems, you're gonna have pretty decent damage as enemies sitting within that spray are gonna take a brief amount of ticking damage, which is really strong. And on top of that, with her super, she's gonna throw down a toxic cloud where enemies inside of it are gonna take damage as well as they're gonna be slowed. Really strong for control, a great control brawler. And not only that with her star power, star power number one increases the damage of her spray, but Star power number two actually heals herself for every enemy that's inside of her super. She's super strong, she's really fun to play, and we're gonna get into her gameplay when we check out Graveyard Shift. So Graveyard Shift is the newest mode dropping inside of Brawl Stars that's only gonna be available for Brawloween. What Graveyard is Shift is, actually is bringing back Life Leech, what you guys might remember from months past. Life Leech honestly was my favorite game modifier inside of Brawl Stars. And with Life Leech, basically what happens, over time you're gonna be losing your HP and the only way to actually end up healing up is by damaging or killing opponents or else your health is gonna start slowly trickling down. Now the cool thing about this compared to Life Leech is the fact that um, you actually can play duos when it comes to this mode and you'll share your healing with your teammate as you play the game. But again, you can only heal up by killing or damaging other brawlers and it makes it really really fun to play now checking out the newest brawler M's you can see when you're damaging from a distance look at that DPS as it starts going in and going ham in fact check this Rosa right here if we can catch her right in the edge of that shield you're gonna get so much damage done obviously we do need to run away a little bit so why don't we slow her down using our super and look at that AOE following me around the map it's so ridiculously good and by the way guys did I mention M's on Unlocks for free at 8,000 trophies, making it a super easily attainable brawler to pick up inside of the game. Personally, for me, I wish that Life Leech, aka Graveyard Shift, would be permanent inside of the game. It does a great job getting rid of teaming because if you team, you're just gonna slowly lose damage over time and you can't really make reliable uh, teammates with your allies. That's why it's one of my favorite modes inside of Brawl Stars. I'm super stoked for it to hit the game, but it's only available for Brawloween, so make sure you check it out right away. So obviously a new mode, a new brawler is amazing for Brawloween already, but Supercell didn't stop there by adding in a new feature called Power Play. And this is actually something I'm really excited about. And I wonder if it's gonna develop to something even further in the future. But basically what Power Play is, if you take a look at your modes and you scroll down every single day, you're gonna be able to play three games when it comes to Power Play that determine the points. And, and basically with these games, you're gonna receive points depending on your standings, whether you're playing 3v3, you're playing Showdown or elsewhere, however you finish in inside those modes, you're gonna end up getting points. And as you stack up those points, towards the end of the season, if you rank highly with points, you're gonna get epic rewards, including star points, and you're gonna end up picking some serious stacks. I'm pretty sure inside of Brawl Talk, they said like the top player would get 50,000 star points for finishing in first. But I really feel like this is the gateway to lead to more competitive Brawl Stars. And starting with this power play is gonna be really fun to test out. Now, obviously an update would not be complete without new skins. We've got five new skins inside of the game, four of them with gems and one of them with star points. First of all, we have a new skin for Shelly, which is gonna be Witch Shelly, it looks ama amazing. We've got Werewolf Leon, Leon getting back-to-back -back skins in a short amount of time, which is a dream come true. And speaking of dreams come true, Piper's gonna get a brand new skin. I hope I don't butcher the pronunciation. Piper Calavera, hopefully I didn't blow it, but it looks like Poco, which is uh, pretty fun. All three of those are available for gems. The first one, then only one that's gonna be available of her star points is going to be Shadow Knight Jesse at 10,000 star points. That is a lot of star points, my friend. And I do have like 15,000 on my account, so I'm pretty tempted. Final skin is going to be for DJ Frank. And if you haven't seen Brawl Talker, Frank just spinning it up. Absolutely hilarious. Love all five skins. Skins on skins on skins. Supercell, take my gems.
And of course, if you guys want to give me some of your gems, whenever you use code PAT in the shop, it's going to go ahead and hook me up with a little bit of kickback. So if you guys are going to be spending any gems on the new update, would totally appreciate if you hit the shop, scroll to the right, use my code, and uh, plug that bad boy in. Whether you're supporting me or any other creator who's your favorite, super grateful to anyone who uses the code, and thanks for hooking it up. Now, finally, there are quite a few balance changes coming out inside of this update, just to say the least. We've got buffs and nerfs to more than like half of the brawlers inside of the entire game. And rather than go through each one piece by piece, I'm just gonna put them into a bucket of buffs, nerfs, and meh, meaning they sorta got buffed, sorta got nerfed, and uh, you guys can get a general sense for your different brawlers. Ready? Let's do this. Buffs, we've got Brock, Crow, Daryl, Jean, Nita, who got a great buff, Penny, Poco, and Spike. Some of these range from different star power uh, buffs. Some of these are more significant ones, like Nita got her health increased and her damage increased. Penny got her, her damage increased. A lot of the other ones are sort of wishy-washy. For nerfs, Piper got a star power nerf, BB got a small nerf, Sandy got nerfed out of the wazoo, 8-bit got a small damage nerf, and for meh, where they got a little bit of a buff, a little bit of a nerf, we've got Primo, Leon, Bo, and Tick. These range from small star power tweaks in both directions. Bo just simply had his mind spread out a little bit differently. It was more of a mechanical change. Those are all of the brawlers that got touched and changed inside of this update. A lot of different changes. Love that they nerfed Sandy. And oh, by the way, did I say Spike got nerfed? What in the world is going on? I don't really know. The buff, by the way, is just to his star, his star power where he throws it on the ground, fertilize. Um, he gains a little bit more HP just to match it up with Curveball. But still, Spike, so strong, so OP, and those are the balance changes inside of this update. Now for the fine print of the update and some small changes they added on in at the end, first, with Takedown and Lone Star, you're actually gonna be able to see your ranking now inside of the game, which is super useful. No more having to guess, you're gonna know exactly where you stand on the top right-hand side of the map. You're also gonna be able to add friends in the game uh, without with the account ID, which is super useful. They did add a profanity filter to the chats, which I'm not sure if you can actually toggle on and off right now, but if you guys are swearing like a sailor, it's safe to say that uh, that might be changing inside of the game sometime soon. Uh, for game rooms, you're also gonna be able to have anyone invite people to the game room. This was actually a featured way back when, but they're adding it on back in. Player profile is now different than Trophy Road, so no longer do you have to worry about scrolling all the way backwards to try to find your ID and everything else. It's gonna be much more useful. And uh, yeah, a lot of small little tweaks and tw tis totally tweaks weird. and tips and tweaks and tricks and everything else, guys. This update is coming in hot, and overall, I'm pretty excited for everyone to get their, ha their hands on it. I like a lot of the balance changes. I love the mode, obviously, with Life Leech being, being brought back in a different way. M seems like a really fun brawler to play, and skins on skins on skins are definitely gonna be all over the place. Now, I definitely need to hear what you guys think about the update inside of the comment section below. Do you think it's a bust? Do you think it's a hit? But obviously for me, things feel pretty good. You can't ever tell until it really goes live to the game and you guys get a chance to get your hands on it. But for me, I've been having a lot of fun. M's seems really strong, but uh, definitely not necessarily uh, a super simple brawler to play. You get max value out of dealing damage to your opponents from a distance. And by the way, this whole mode with everyone healing up gets a little bit crazy. A lot of fun right there, but just check this out. I mean, if you shoot M's at close range, you're only gonna do that 840 damage, more or less similar to a Poco. It actually does does less, but you get that huge 3,000 damage burst when you're actually at that perfect distance to get it done, and uh, that's why M's has so much value. But I'm really excited for Life Leech, aka Graveyard Shift, to be back inside of the game, and uh, safe to say that we'll probably be crying for some nerfs to M's sometime soon. All right, so let's decimate this Rosa right here and hopefully get on back before she just heals all over to death right there. But the moving AoE, rather than something like Sandy, where you have to throw it down and have to make sure you capitalize on it definitely is a complete game changer two brawlers remaining inside of this one but graveyard shift is going to be something i'm grinding till absolute death and uh, hoping that start that brawloween is going to be lasting a long time to get things done by the way they changed obviously the maps to be Mortis's Mortuary. So you have obviously different designs to some of your favorite maps and modes inside of the game. I remember when I saw this for the very first time, I was like, I don't even know what any of these maps are. And then I was like, oh wait, no, actually everything is just pretty much the same maps except uh, changed around for the uh, theme in the mode. <laughs> By the way, Colt sitting with 22 HP, not necessarily gonna win a lot of games inside of Graveyard Shift unless you do a lot of damage. 
So that's it for the update for me, guys. Long list of stuff coming out inside of the game, and I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it. Test it out. I'm hoping that since it is still early in the week, we could see this update this week. I would imagine that if Supercell is going to release it, they probably would release it tomorrow. I would be questionable if they released it on Thursday, because as you guys know, they like releasing updates before the weekend is uh, here, because they need to sort of be around in case things catch on fire. Normally, they release updates on Monday, Tuesday, but I'm hoping now that it is Tuesday, we see it tomorrow or else it might be a while until we actually see it. Pray for tomorrow, guys. That's gonna do it for this video. And for you guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think and what you're most excited about for what's coming out inside of Brawl Stars. Pretty glorious time for Brawl Stars. Love the consistent updates, love the consistent content. Thanks again to everyone for subscribing and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. And until the update comes out, I will see you guys later. Peace out.